you get any sleep? You feeling any better today? I feel like a complete moron. How about you? Well, all things considered, not bad, but then again, I'm not the one who came home with pantyhose hanging over my shoulder. Yep, I'm feeling pretty good. Glad I could help. Jess, things will get better. I suppose they can't get worse. Well, actually, they probably could. Great, thanks, Vince. Suddenly, I feel so hopeful. Glad I could help. I better get to work. Sorry, I didn't mean to say work. Have a good day, Jess. Morning, Vince. What's so good about it? Nice to see you too, Poodle Pants. Shara, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I hope you're not mad at me. Who knew it would be so difficult to... Wh wh what do you have to be sorry about? Wh oh, um, nothing. Did, did, did Flitz not call you? Nopers do. I mean, why would he call me? They don't make deliveries. <laughs> yeah, I got fired last night. Oh. Yeah, it was terrible. Oh. I'm so sorry. I spilled drinks on everyone. <laughs> and then this creep was feeling up my leg, oh. so I poured a drink over his head, which I thought would be funny, but Flitz did not. Well, I was wondering how your evening went, and gosh, I miss all the fun. Oh. Yeah, well, that pretty much sums it up. All you gotta do is just uh, pick yourself up and start looking again. I've been looking through the Help Wanted ads. Oh find anything interesting? Why do most of these jobs require a headshot? Oh. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Did Jess tell you about her experience last night? Oh, yep, first do. Wish I would have been there just to get a good laugh. <laughs> oh, well, I have a full book this morning. Um, Jess, did Vince say anything to you this morning? Um, nope, he was just his charming self. No, I said Vince. <laughs> Charming, that's a good one. <laughs> See, Vince is as charming as roadkill. <laughs> okay, Shara, mm -hmm. I'm the only one that gets to call him roadkill. That's right. Oh, which reminds me. Mom called yesterday, and she got worried when she called your number and it was disconnected. Disconnected? Oh, no surprise. John can't handle anything on his own. Yeah, he can. He just doesn't pay bills. <laughs> okay, thanks for pointing that out. You've moved on from that now. I never did quite understand what you saw in him. I mean, well, any person who thinks that the four major food groups include... Can we move on? Oh, yes, yeah, speaking of moving on, I have to go to work. Oh, and Vince may be calling you today. Oh, I said work, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Would everyone stop apologizing for that? I don't break out into hives every time someone says the word work. Why is Vince calling me? Um, well, we were um, talking last night, and um, he's looking for a receptionist. Mm -hmm. And after hours of persuading him to see things my way. Hours, huh? Mm -hmm. You do have a way of... <laughs> okay, la 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 la, I don't want to hear that, thank you. Oh, come on now, Jess, it's perfectly natural. I do not want to hear about your sex life. I do, and go slow and don't leave out the good parts. That would be like mom talking about her sex life with Janice. <gasps> Your mom is a lesbian? Wow! This family has so much stuff going on. Who needs television? <laughs> okay, have you ever thought about a reality television show? Okay, here's the thing. Put Barb in the mix. Oh, you've got a hit. Can you imagine? Vince, the blue collar guy, married to the psychic, whose best friend has a you know, drinking problem, amongst other things. And then the sister comes back from... I feel like I'm watching the Jerry Springer show, except we're all starring in it. Okay, here comes the lesbian mom back into town with her secret lover. Okay, that's enough, because I'm feeling really dysfunctional. Okay, then. You know what? I have to go, because there's my client. I will see you later. Bye, Char. Mm. Imagine feeling dysfunctional in this family. God, we really are a reality show. Well, you know, it could be worse. That is the second time someone said that today. Okay, what are we gonna do today to be proactive, hmm? I am going to curl up on that couch in the fetal position, pull the covers up over my head, and I may feel the occasional urge to suck my thumb. Oh, come on, it was one night, it's not that bad. No, no, I think I'm done for the day. It just started, it's only nine o'clock. I think I just wanna be alone. Okie dokie, Smokey. Uh, but if you need me, you know where to find me. Thanks. Yeah, I think I do just need a day to myself. Okay, just uh, get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day.
seems to be the phrase of the day. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen you, Rebecca. You look fabulous. It's my once a year reading, and I go by Becky now. It's a lot more user friendly. But I've been looking forward to seeing you. All right, well, why don't we see what's been going on and what's to come? Okay, you shuffle them for me, please. Mm -hmm. And could you cut them for me, please? Okay, well, let's see. Oh, have you had a breakup recently? No. I'm engaged. Does that say I'm breaking up? Uh, well, we'll just keep turning, okay. Uh, oh, have you moved recently? No, he moved in with me, but that was last year. Oh. Um, you know what? <laughs> Why don't we reshuffle? Okay. Okay. are not what they seem. Oh my gosh! Shh. Warm arms to welcome on the journey. Break up moving. Someone's watching. Danger heartache? Wait a minute. Who's watching? Oh my god. Jesse. Oh, I'm sorry, Rebecca. We're gonna have to reschedule. It's Becky! Yeah, whatever. I gotta go. I are you kidding me? That's it? You you say danger and, and break up and I'm paying for this!